Hello, my name is Marcus Chavez and I'm with Afara TV. Today we will be cable casting segments of the press conferences that were held during the 22nd CROI, which is the annual conference on retroviruses and opportunistic infections, which took place in Seattle, Washington this year. This segment will be presented by Patrick Mercy, who is with St. André Hospital in Bordeaux, France. Patrick talks about a double-blind, placebo-controlled, randomized clinical trial that looks at using vericillin to promote smoking cessation in patients with HIV. The ILS-140 interactive study is a French multicenter randomized double-blind control study funded by the National Agency of Research on AIDS and Hepatitis. Since few years, the life expectancy of HIV-infected patients is comparable to the general population and comorbidities represent the most important ch challenge in the management of these patients. Cancers and uh, cardiovascular diseases are the main comorbidities responsible to the majority of deaths. Smoking cessation is a priority for pr primary prevention and the <coughs> treatment sa safety should be oriented. In the interactive study, 103, 303 sorry, patients were screened, 248 patients were included in the study and finally 214 213 sorry analyze included 111 in the placebo group and 102 in the placebo in, in the very clean group all patients all in both groups received tobacco counseling and the monitor uh, clinical biological survey the immunovirological immuno var sorry data have not been modified during uh, the study at uh, 48 weeks, the, the intention to treat analysis shows an abstinence rate of 17.67% uh, in the variolating groups, statistically significant compared to 7.2% in the placebo group. The most frequent adverse events reported were uh, expected with significant severe adverse events related to the drug, including es especially psychotric events and gastrointestinal events. We didn't observe any type of cardiovascular complications, such as myocardial infarction or cerebrovascular complications related to the varenicline. In this uh, study, the results are conditioned by, to coaching by experts associating, associating tobacco counseling and clinical biological survey. Within the criteria, for selected patients, var varenicline is an e efficacy and well-tolerated and safe therapy in HIV affected the patient to quit smoking. In patients with recent or evolutive psychological disorders, not controlled by inappropriate tr treatment or affected or non-stable cardiovascular disease, varenicline remains non-indicated for the management of smoking cessation. In HIV-infected patients, varenicline associated with a tobacco counseling proved to be as efficacious as in the general population, allowing a favorable efficacious and safe man management to quit smoking in HIV-infected patients. Thank you.